Welcome into this week's Coyote Net Report. I'm with Coach Leanne Williamson. And Leanne, a tough weekend last weekend in uh, California. Just some overall thoughts from the, the Bakersfield tournament. You know, I think we learned a lot about ourselves, and even though we didn't have the outcome that we wanted, um, really in obviously any three of the matches, um, we felt like we were getting better each match, and um, you know that's really what preseason is about: is working through um, some of the difficulties that do present itself. And uh, you know, I, I definitely think that there were some um, some challenges that are that arose within the team, and um, you know, each match that we played, you know, we were pretty disappointed in how we performed against um, Santa Barbara, uh, but then we felt like every match we did get a little bit better and um, it, it kind of just seemed like unfortunately when one thing was going right for us there was another portion of our game that kind of let down um, and that's something that we've been able to focus on this week um, but we did feel like at least as the weekend got on we got better um, and then you know at the end of the weekend we really talked about the fact that uh, preseason has taught us a lot and that we have the opportunity now to really start back over at zero and zero and um, everything that happened in the during those four weekends are important for us and things that are going to help us become the better team as the year goes on um, but that we really had to refocus and and have that kind of clean clean slate again so that we could make some of the changes that we really needed to. It's been a couple of days of practice already this week. How upbeat has practice been this week? It's actually been really, really good. It's probably one of our better weeks of practices here in the last, um, I would say, three to four weeks. Uh, and I think part of that comes with the fact that the players knew that changes needed to be made. And, you know, it, obviously when you're winning, you know, those first two weekends like we were, um, I think sometimes you can sit back a little bit and rest in the fact that you have had success. But the fact that we didn't have the success that we wanted these last two weekends, I think really gave them the motivation that they needed in order to really make a change so um, it's been really good you know not that it's been perfect by any means and you know practices never are going to be especially when you're playing against yourself um, there's going to be things that you're happy with and things that you're not but I think the team has done a very good job of learning making changes and I, I think really committing um, as a team to getting better every day. Uh, road trips to start the summer league with at North Dakota State at Oral Roberts what excites the team about beginning of summer league play? Um, I, I mean, I think just the fact, again, that we're we're into the part of the season now that is what we work for. You know, and obviously we love preseason. We love playing against you know, those teams and, and playing against people that we don't see every year. But at the same time, this is this is now kind of the, you know, the, the part that um, really makes the season. You know, it's, it's what they work for from day one. Um, we get to play people that we do know. Uh, it's a little bit more of, I think, a comfort level in that situation. And in fact, the fact that we're only playing two matches a weekend instead of, you know, three in two days. We've got two in three days. So, um, you know, it, it allows us to be a little bit more prepared in some of those scenarios and really focus up um, on what our side needs to be doing. But I think we're able to put together some really good game plans as well. So I think they're just excited to be able to start kind of fresh again. Um, and they feel like this is really, uh, you know, the time that they want to be able to make a push. The Kyles travel to Fargo on Friday. They'll play North Dakota State, which is two and nine, and then a long trip to Oral Roberts in Tulsa on Sunday, and Oral Roberts is three and nine. What challenges will North Dakota State and Oral Roberts present the Coyotes this weekend? Well, I mean, I think the first thing is we're on the road. Um, you know, being on the road is always difficult, and I think in the Summit League, everybody plays very well at home, um, and you know, there's always going to be that home court advantage. So, um, you know, I think that the first thing, the first challenge, I would say, is just having to travel. Um, you know, NDSU is kind of similar to us in terms of they have some people returning, um, but they actually have some pretty young people on the floor as well um, in some key positions. So they've played a very challenging schedule. Um, I don't think their record necessarily probably dictates exactly um, who they are as a team. So, uh, you know, NDSU is always a tough place to play. They've got a, a great facility there um, for volleyball. Um, so we're excited for that challenge. And then um, Oral Roberts is another hard place to play just within um, their gym. And uh, it's loud and their fans really get excited. And, um, you know, but that's also why we love this sport. It's why we why we love this league is there is that, um, that rivalry and those in those matches so um, both of them are going to present you know different challenges some of it with volleyball some of it with just the atmosphere um, and then obviously being on the road but I think they we're definitely up for it. Uh, finally uh, how do you overcome the difficult travel weekend and just focus on trying to win the matches? You know we really don't talk to our team too much about travel um, you know that's the nice thing about 
preseason too is you do get to travel and I don't think anything compares to the two weekends of travel that we've had in the past two weeks going down to central Arkansas and then Bakersfield so I think our team is actually going to be pretty excited with this travel which is kind of crazy to think about but um, you know a short bus ride up um, to NDSU and then you know a, a, a little bit more of a simple flight you know out down to Tulsa so um, you know e- even though we are traveling I think having that day in between the matches to recover um, to to put in a new scouting report, to practice in, in that new gym, um, it makes a really big difference. So, you know, for us, we really work on trying to, when we step foot in somebody else's gym, that we make it our home gym, that we get very comfortable very quickly um, so that that isn't a, a foreign place to us anymore. Um, but, you know, I, I think that's what's great about this sport and, you know, I think great about college athletics is there's so many factors to it and travel definitely does play a role. So I think just the excitement, hopefully the adrenaline at times can help out with that. But, um, you know, our players are definitely ready to compete. Anything you'd like to add as we uh, get ready for some league play? I'm just excited to see what this team can do, you know, starting from this first match here um, and, you know, see if we can make some of the changes that we need to make. But they're, they seem to be ready. They're working hard in practice. And, um, you know, this is the fun part. How big has the senior leadership from Haley and, and, and um, Christina and I mean, even Rachel not playing? I mean, and how, how big has that been? You know, I think when you when I talk when I think about leadership in, in those scenarios, I think a lot of it I look at is just the experience. You know, they've been in these situations. You know, they've played at these different um, venues already, um, and I think they can help provide some um, steadiness within the team in those moments. So, um, you know, I think there's a little bit more confidence within themselves just because they have been there. Uh, and I think they're able to kind of help some of our younger kids through that or, um, and help them, I, I think, get more comfortable in those situations. So, I mean, it's been something that's been important for us. It's going to be something that we are going to push a little bit more going forward. Um, but, you know, our, our, our underclassmen, too, are really stepping up in some big moments as well. So um, you've got that good balance. But, I mean, definitely you can see Haley's been um, kind of the steady uh, force for us. She takes a lot of swings. Um, you know, we'd like to be in system a little bit more often that we don't have to do that all the time. But um, just having somebody on the court that I think everybody trusts to take those swings is really big for us. Not to forget Senior Taylor Wilson. Obviously, Haley uh, with 165 kills leads the team. Taylor right behind at 112. Um, Madison, uh, 419 assists. And then you got your back row. Annie uh, with 213 digs. Uh, Mehana, 72. And Haley uh, plays all the way around, 150 digs. Yeah, I mean, I think we just, you you see our our depth kind of shining through in some of those moments. And, um, you know, I I think Taylor has had a great start to her senior year, too. And um, it's been great to see her have that much success. And yet she's still learning. You know, she's still um, she's still trying to figure out what decisions to make in certain moments. And um, but she's a pretty confident player. So that's been fun to see her do that. Um, Our back row is something that is going to be important for us going into summer league play. it's been important for us in the first four weekends. It's something that we lost a little bit, I think, in this past week. Um, but we've been very focused on getting that back this week. And our players have really made a decision to um, not just focus on it, but make it a priority. Um, and, you know, it's something that we're going to have multiple people back there making plays. Um, and, you know, making plays is contagious. So that's something that we've been talking about in practice is you know, make a good play, get excited, and a lot of other things kind of just steamroll from that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's been it's been cool to see the team kind of uh, bind together, you know, make some of those changes, and, and really, I think, rely on each other to get through both the good and the bad times. You've been listening to the Coyote Net Report. This is week four. Thanks, Coach.